How's it going everyone? Brodo Sam is here and today we're going to be taking a look on how to transfer your Death Stranding PC save to Death Stranding Director's Cut, the non-official release. So if we go to the game here, you can see that I don't have any saves and of course the saves are not going to be loaded from the previous game. So what we're going to do first is create a backup for the uh, EXE file. Okay, so make a backup of your Death Stranded executable. Of course, you need WinRAR installed for that. Then we're going to need this text file that uh, I'm going to leave down in the uh, description. And we're going to open Notepad++. So make sure that you download and install Notepad++. Once you have Notepad++ installed, go to File. And then go down to Open. Go to the location of Death Stranding Director's Cut, select the XE, and then hit OK. After that, we're going to go to uh, Plugins, go to Plugins Admin, and then we're going to search for Hex Editor. OK, so search for Hex Editor, select it, and then hit Install. It's going to be installed real quick. OK, now we're done with this. Now go to Plugin, select Hex Editor, Hex Editor, and then go to View in Hex. Okay, now we're going to go to the text file that I have here, and we're going to select the one that starts with 75. So select all of it, copy, and then we're going to go to Search. Where is it? Right here, Search, Find. And then we're going to go to replace. And now paste that uh, thingy that you copied from there here. And now we're going to copy the second line, which starts with EB. And we're going to copy and paste it here. And then hit replace. Once you hit replace, we're going to be done with this. So replace and we're done. So close everything. Close it. Close it. And now we're going to go copy the save files from the uh, original game to the director's cut game. To do that, you're going to have to navigate to the C drive, users, uh, your username, app data, local, and then Kojima Productions. You can see the path uh, up there. So you can clearly see it. It's C users, uh, your username, app data, local, and then Kojima Productions. Now go to the uh, original game folder, which is, you know, the Death Stranding, and you're going to find your uh, saves. For me, they're here. Uh, I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to go and copy it. And uh, you can know your saves are in here if you see that they have a size. If, if your saves are not in there, you know, the size is going to be zero. So for me, it's 22 megabytes of saves. So I'm just going to copy them, copy all of them. And we're going to go to the Death Stranding Director's Cut. Go to the only folder that we see in here. And now we're going to paste. We're going to paste and overwrite anything that comes up. So replace and we're done. So let's go ahead and launch Death Stranding. And uh, we're going to get a message that the saves are corrupted. Okay, save data is corrupted. This means that your savings have been copied successfully. This means success. So click OK. And now we're going to see if my saves are in here. Let me just skip ahead because the loading screen takes a bit long. All right, now we're in. Uh, we can just go ahead and ignore this. We're gonna press cancel, press okay. And then we're gonna, we can just press continue to, uh, you know, continue from the previous game or just load a checkpoint that you have here in your saves. So your saves are now here and you can just, you know, click whatever checkpoint you want to load it. So for me, I'm just gonna hit continue. Uh, if, of course, you just click on this here. It's not gonna load anything. This is for the uh, official release which requires the internet connection and Steam. So just hit continue and yep, that's it.
Beginning scan. Scanning. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Begin the scan. Have a pleasant journey. Thank <sighs> you. 